Good morning, everyone. This is the core peach and more stuff. And I got a couple of sets of dumbbells always. And today I'm thinking to use just the heavy one or the light one. All depends. And you can always adjust how you feel today, right? Good. So, but as usual, let's start with the squat. Here we go. Your feet about shoulder width. And Breathe your glutes, lift, open your chest, close your ribs cage, and go down. And back up. Inhale. This is just, you know, for a warm-up purpose. Check your form. Start focusing your muscle from your brain, right? Just to try to feel it. What are you working on? And how you feel with a squat. You're not going to lock your knees as you go up, right? Just stop before you almost lock your joints. Maintain the tension on your glutes, legs, your tummy. Good. Four more. And three. And two. One, put your hands behind your head. And as you go up, lift your left leg, knee to elbow, down. The other side. And up. Keep the core tight. And try to keep the balance. Up. Open your knees to the side. And reaching to your elbow. So you're working on the obliques, your side, right? Every time you lift, this side squeeze. Up, down, up, down, up. Go faster. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Give me four more. Four. Three, so get them in, two, one, hold, go down, two, down, 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 put your left foot back, and lift, and touch, one side only, from side, and up, you can up, down, if you can't reach with the straight leg, Touch the knee. Good. So you touch with the opposite side hand, right? So little twist. So use your front side as well to lift. And four more. And three. And two. And one. Back. Next side, step to the back, a little bit wider, so you can, you know, hold the balance easier. Good. Now the other hand, right, right here, and up, down. If you can, go down low, and back up, and lift. Don't forget to focus on your core. You're working on your core, right? Down, up, down, up. Four more. Two, three, two. And I lied. Give me four more. Two, three, and two. One. Beautiful. Shake, shake, shake. Grab the down bell. All right, go down. To the one knee, your left knee down, good, and extend your arm, same side with the kneeling down, good, and squeeze your glutes, squeeze your tummy, back it up, press your navel, reaching to the floor, and back, reach. It's like a windmill on your knees. Go down, 
So when you go down, you pop up the navel. It's not gonna work very well. So keep it at a tight, flat, and reach. So you're gonna feel side, and your hips going to the little bit to the side, outside, right, and reach. If you don't have any weights, right here, push the ceiling, reaching out. Good. Four more, and three, and two, look up, one and hold, you put a good stretch, but you come in, and go back. Good. And step up, squat, and back. Same side. So I'm not getting, getting up, but it's too much. You can get up a little higher. That might be a little easier, right? Or stay low. Keep bending the front knee. Four more. Three, two, two, and one. Beautiful, and go down. Both knees down. Grab the dumbbell. All right, so you're on your knees from knee to head like a plank. So I think I need to squeeze it and lift your weight in front of your chest. And the, one, the plank from the above your knee, go down and back. Keep breathing. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Keep your core tight. Squeeze your glute. You're not gonna do this, right? This will be totally different. If you can't go too far, just a little bit. You might start feeling your trunk side. That's okay too. And shoulder your away from the face. Four more. Squeeze. Three. Two, one, and hold, 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 and push back. Ah, pretty good, the other side. Now my right foot, your left foot up, right knee down, press up, no, this side, switch, switch. Same side, right? And we're gonna reach to the floor, reach, Woo. look up, and back. Go down. So you're not going to touch the front side, right? Side. So you're crunching your obliques. Keep going. Shoulders away from the face. Both side, right? Don't sit down, right? Your hips are on the same level. Just moving to the side to crunch. Keep breathing. My 10 pounds are getting heavier. Give me four more. Four. Three. And two. Woo. And one. Beautiful. In the front, step up and squeeze. In the squat, and down. And up. Go down, and up. Down. And up. If you can do the low squat, perfect. And you're gonna feel your peach really tight. Tighten up. Good. Two more. And one. Hold, hold your squat. Very good. And go back again. You do the knee. Knee and your plant's going to Work back with the straight arms and squeeze back. Eight more. Seven. Six. Don't bend your hips. Right. Four more. Four. Three. Ouch. Two. And one. And back. Holy cow. Keep water. Anytime. 
you're allowed to take away water anytime, I want you to drink more water during this workout too. Okay. Next. Get down. Down to the floor. Whew. All right. First, we do without weight. All right. Extend your arms overhead. Start bending your knees. So let's check. Go back to the standard weight. Press the navel. Just so your arms are above the head. Extend it. It's hard to keep it, right? So inhale, exhale, press. So your lower back is sticking with the floor, your mat, carpet, whatever. Good. And extend and close your rib cage. Don't stick it out, right? And hold. Good. And lift both knees and touch. And back. Touch front of your knees. Good. Give me four more. And every time you lift your upper body, press. Good. Three. Two. Each rib scale. One and hold. Woo. Now extend your legs and reach. Try to reach your toe and go down. If you have to, keep bending your knees like this. A little bit less bent. If you are strong, keep your legs nice and straight and reach at the top. And four more. Three, press, press. Two, flat, and one, and hold. Reach your shoulders up, good, and 16. One, two, reach your feet. Each rest, two, three, two, eight more. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, and reach. And hug your knees. <sighs> Relax your neck as well. And grab the weights if you have one. Oh, 10 pounds is hard. Good. All right, so extend your legs. And I'm not going to do straight arms. Because with the weight, bend your elbows, right? So once you extend your legs, it's really harder now. Your arms up too, but it's taking, digging your heels to the floor and lift all the way up. Like sit up, sit up, and slowly down, rolling down with your uh, disc, each disc of the spine one by one. Ready? Go up and above your head, touch your knees and press the knees. Keep. Pressing and round your back and slowly back up. Down here. And go up. And above. And slowly going back. Down. And press up. Above. And slowly back. Good. Two more. Up. Squeeze. Slowly down. Suck your thumb in. Last one, and up, beautiful, lean down here, and pinch from the hips, and leaning back, good, and hold it, hopefully you're a little less than the 90 degrees here, right, or bigger than 90 degrees if you come from the legs, right, and extend your arms if you can, with the weight or weight without, and hold. Tuck your tummy in and twist to each side. So feeling your back's aching, bend your knees if you can. Straight legs. Four, 
three, two, one. Back straight and bend your knee and lift and out, in, out, in, out. Your knees magnetized, glued it on, both together. If you're on the bat, keep your feet up when you straighten your legs. Four more. Three. How good are we? Two. One and hold. <sighs> Rest your shoulders. And keep the legs up or here. You modify here. And twist. Russian twist. You can do faster, but usually you lose the tension when you do the really fast movement. But I like to do this a little slower. So every time you twist, you mean twist a little more. One inch more. A little farther, twist. Four. Three, two, one. Move your weight. All right, good. And now, right here, and extend your legs. B, B up. Hold it, hold it. Press your navel, don't stick it out. No arch this way. Slightly kind of round. And you're touching on the above your tailbone. Good. And flat a kiss. If you can't do it, do this. Press, press. And you're facing to the right. Keep fluttering, flat a kiss. Four, three, two, one. The other side. Four, three, two, one. Beautiful. Stretch your back. Good job. Go down to the floor. And we're going to lift the hips, the bridge. Kind of active, active rest. So now we are focusing on the booties and your hemis. Good. As usual, close your back gate. Send out your buns, right? Close it and press up and press down your navel. Small movement. I'm not lifting too high because I want to focus my booties. And squeeze your buns. Press the navel. Good. Four more. And three. And two. One and hold, and my left arm reaching to the right side. And I lift my hips a little higher for this movement, but it's flat here and down. One side only. My left arm reaching to above, head on the right side. Cross. So you're stretching the left side obliques and squeezing on the right. Exhale up. Don't forget to squeeze your glute. Four more. Reaching your fingertips, touching the floor. Three, two, squeeze. One. You don't, you're not going to go this, right? You don't want to hurt your back. So keep that position just a little higher and move farther. And the other side, my right arm reaching outside. Left side, a little farther. And every time you lift your hips, flatten your tummy. By pressing your navel. Reach and you feel the glutes pressing. Try to reach as far as you can. Reach. And back. Ooh. Out. Three more. Two. And one, and squeeze and hold, and slowly back down. Good job, everyone. How are you doing? Sip water. Are you still with me? All right. 
So let's do the bear crawl. Bear crawl starts from the bones, right? Your hands, right? To, uh, <laughs> align from the shoulder, right? And tuck your toes, your knees are below hips. And look. So just this, you're gonna feel it. Because you're gonna feel your core and your back should be flat, like a tabletop, right? Right here. So your knees are not too high. Knees about a couple inches away from the floor. And my hips are not higher than my shoulder, right? Hold it, tuck your tummy in. Good, we're gonna make the circle. Keep the same position, same posture. Whew. And reverse. Whew. Keep that form, keep that posture. And hold. Good. And now we're gonna cross my left leg here. Cross and cross. Tap your toe. Two more. And you feel comfortable. Lift your right arm and thrust and back. You can remain in here. If you can, extend your leg and hip dip and back. Always back to the bear crawl. Good. Four more. And three. And two. And one. Good. Bring down. Good job. All right. From here, my right knee bent, my right arm up, left hands down, and up and touch, down, up and touch. If it's too much, lift your hips and touch the knee. If you're strong and your hands okay, your wrist okay, go up. Two, three, four, ah, one more, three, two, a little higher, one and hold, and slowly down. Good job. Woo. Your wrist, circle, circle, good stretch. We're gonna do the other side. All right, so back to bear crawl, right? We already did the circle, we have to skip that. Hold, so your knees are up, right? Not too up, right here. Can you do that? And shifting right here, good. Then, tap, tap. Go back to where you start. Go down a little bit. Lower your knees are. It's harder. Good. Two more. You can remain in doing this. Or up and back. Here we go. Up and back. Lift your hand. Yeah. Up. Keep going. Stay with me. Two more. Woo. And one. And down. Woo. And extend your leg, my right leg. Good. Then lift and touch. Touch. Woo if you are strong, you feel strong today. Don't touch the hips. Stay up. One more. 
three, and two, and one. Ah, good job. Woo. Stretch, stretch, stretch. Good. Ah, good job. All right. We're going to do the side of luck. Hopefully your shoulders okay, right? So you want to do not too, too much weight on your shoulder and elbow. Always lift with your torso right here in the middle midsection. Right, hold fast. Good. Right. right here. Your elbow, shoulder in line. You stuff your feet or bend your knee, right? And lift your hips and hold so you don't want to step on your shoulder so press your elbow on the floor and push it up so make sure you have a nice line of plank plank is not bending that's not good you have to return it to the home depot or whatever right store back to store you want to have a nice and straight plank and flatten your Tummy. Good. Put your hands behind your head. Push the elbow, right? And bring your upper elbow, trying to reach the fingernails, fingertips, and up. Reach. So if you do it correctly, your hands are a little bit out, forward. So try to reach the fingertips. You have to bring your elbow a little farther and close. And keep lifting your lower hip up, right? Go reach and back up. Reach. Beautiful. Keep going. Two more. And last one. Hold. And ex extended leg on the top. Up. Good. Hold it. Push the hips. Four, three, two, one. Down. Good job. Woo. All right. And go back again. And bring your this elbow and kind of cross over and plus. So your forearms on the floor like this. Good. And your plank position. Good. Hold it. And you're on your toes, on your knees. Your choice. Push the he heels away from the head. Good. Open your shoulder blades so your upper back is nice and tight and open. Not squeezing. Good. And, whoo, and bring your front of the hips close to the floor. And you're almost arching. And push back up and a little higher. Tuck your tummy in. Kind of stretch your abs and push back up. Inhale, exhale. Inhale, exhale. You push back your hips up, but not too high, but higher than your head. And every time you do that, your tummy must be nice and flat because your navel pressing towards your tailbone. Down and up. Good. You can do it down. Last one. Down and up and hold. Hold for me. Right here. Good. And from here, side to side. Rotate your hips in each side. Touching the floor or almost touching. Tighten up your tummy by pressing your navels towards the back. Four and three. Shoulders away from the face. Last one. Woo. Down. Good job, everyone. All right, I'm sweating. How about you? Sip water before you start really feeling the thirst. Thirst. It's a good idea to keep 
drink water, couple sips every time. All right, from here, let's do the reverse push up. On your knees, on your toes, that's your choice. So bring your elbows to the side, put your hands on the side of your chest. So tuck your uh, elbows in or a little bit out if it's too hard. Ready? And push up right here. Then slowly down. One, two, three, four. Lift your hands, press back, up. Four, three, two, one. Up and back up. Four, three, two, one. Hands up. So a lot of people I see, you know, uh, keep going down. So when you do the like a uh, push up, a lot of people goes heads down because it's a little bit easier. But I keep your nail neck neutral, looking down the floor about a couple of feet away from your fingertips. Good. And push it back up. Four, three, two, one. Hands up. Push back up. Four, three, two. One, last one, push back up. Four, three, two, one, crash. Good job, everyone. Are you still there? Still with me? All right, wonderful. Okay, so get up <laughs> different positions. Oh, no, still kind of. Right, so what I'm gonna do is from the plank and bring your foot by your front hand, right here, right? And so you feel the good stretch, your hips, pennies, outside. If it's too much, go a little in the middle. Good. If you can, you have flexibilities and suck your tummy in, good. Then bring your back foot to the side and tuck, and back, and tuck. Don't forget your abs. Almost like move with your abs. Good. Four more. And three, two, one, and hold. Right here. Right here. Good. And hips up, down. So your both feet, my toe, my left toe, your right toe behind your front heel and push, push your hips up. And four, three, two, you can do it. One, body back on your knees. Woo. Shoulders, yes. So today's more part to probably shoulders. There's a lot of, you know, on a plank type of position and you, Fortunately, you have another side. Ready? Back. And your, my left leg, your right leg, on the side of the same side hand. Good, and let's do a little stretch. Hips up and down. The stretch is always good. Good. Ready? Bring your back foot, toe behind your heel, and out. And tuck and out. So some of you may be having a hard time. Go all the way down. If it's too hard, right here is okay. But don't lift too much, you know, too high, right? Or you can go all the way out and tuck without lifting your hips too much, right? This is easier. This is harder. Two more. Last one. Hold here and pike. And down. Right here. Pike. If it's too much, bring here. And two. Four more. Three. Two. And one. Ouch. How's everyone doing good? All right. 
What else are we going to do? Let's do some hips. All right. Let's do the donkey kick style. All right. So start from my left side and on your elbows or your hands, your choice. I'll start with the elbow. Good. And my left leg straight. Good. And lift. And squeeze your glute and bring your knee back and close to the uh, triceps and go up and go down. Squeeze up and use your abs. It's almost like a crunch movement, right? Using your hips as well as you extend your legs. Suck your tummy in and tighten up your core and bring your knee in and out. And extend. By the way, where's your weight? Is it a center? Not on your right side, right? That's two. Woo. And one and hold. Hold, hold, hold. Oh, I think I forgot the one side earlier. I'm sorry, I did. Okay, I think I did, right? Okay, and put your same side hand and lift. So your hips are higher, right? Your, my left hip is higher. Good. And suck your tummy in and bring your knee to the elbow. And out. And, and out. And every time you lift, uh, lift or extend, suck your tummy in. Don't make it arch. Suck it. Good. And four, three, and two, and one. Then from here to the side and back. And kick out with your heel. So your knee trying to reach the elbow. But on the side. So from the front, right here. And out. And out. Four. Oh. You can lean to the, the other side of this position. And last one. And circle. Two, three, four. Squeeze the glute. Six, seven, eight. Reverse. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Good job. The other side, right here, on your elbow, your hands, your choice. Extend the one leg, maintain the center weight, up and squeeze, flex your, flex your uh, ankle, and bring your knee to the upper arm, triceps, up and down, down. And up, and, and extend. When you extend your legs, you don't want to lock your knee, but it's just before you lock and squeeze and stop. And in, and out. And focus on your abs and crunch in. Good. Four more. Three. And two, three, straight up, and one, and up and hold, and put your hands one side. If you are on your hands, go down the one, one side on the elbow, good. And now your hips are up, open to the side, and your weight can be on your the other side, and bring here, and in. And out, in, and out, in, out, in, out, 
Every time you extend, squeeze the glute and squeeze your hammies, hamstrings. Good. Keep your tight core, your abs. Two more. You can do it. Stay with me. We're almost done. And bring your knee to the side so your shin is parallel to the floor. And you feel the good stretch as you bring your knee to the upper arm. Same time. Tuck your tummy in. Good. In and out. In and out. Give me four more. Only four more. Three more. Easy. Two. Oh. And one. And up and hold. Circle. So now lock your booties. Nice and tight. Four. Three. Two. One. Reverse. Two. How's your tummy? Don't make the arch. Right? Nice and straight. Three. Two, one and hold. Bona, up and down. One, two, three, four, four, three, two, one. Squeeze. And down. Child's pose. I'm sweating. I hope you too. Good job. Oh. All right. Let's do the cool down. Take time and good stretch. All right. So start with sitting, all right, and reaching. So sit water, right? Reaching to the toes if you can. If you can, bend your knees a little bit. But it's really important to stretch behind your knee, right? So some people always keep bending, right? Especially when you get older, older than you know, like grandma's age or so. Make sure you feel the stretch behind your knee. And reaching and reaching as far as you can. And if you are still, you know, you're flexible and you feel it, it go down. So from the side, my legs are straight, but you know, sometimes it's hard. So you bend a little bit, but you feel the stretch. Or stay here as long as you feel the good stretch. Reaching, reaching. And pointing toes and flex. Pointing toes and flex. Two more. Last one. Beautiful. So then your right knee and kind of curl. It's like your shin is straight on the short side of or the long side of the mat and bring your knee back. If it's too much, bring your foot closer to your hips. Your choice in your straight legs, right on the back. Then lift, kind of shift your hips towards the straight side. You already feel it. You already feel on the bending side. Good hip stretch. You feel it? All right. So down, down. So by the way, uh, just in case you missed it, uh, I upgraded the, the Zoom, but you don't have to, I don't have to cut it in the half. Then I'm gonna force me to finish in 40 minutes. So reaching over the floor. Inhale. If you are not mute, please make it your audio mute and pull your shoulders down, good. Inhale, and exhale. Push yourself back up. And bring your straight leg forward and stuck on it. So it's a double pigeon. So my right side hip is stiff. So my right knee doesn't go down very well, but that's okay. And you go reach forward. And now you feel the, the other side hip, right? Good stretch. If you have a tight hips, you know, close to all kinds of other areas, you know, knees and oof, 
your legs, probably shoulders. It's all connected. So if you feel you want it to feel more, go into the opposite side of your upper leg side. And you feel the good stretch on your obliques. Inhale, exhale, back. So I already did what probably 45 minutes total on the hard side. And I wanted, I'm taking time for the stretch. Good. Whew. The other side. Now my right knee, your left knee bent, straight leg, my, your right leg straight and shifting your weight in the center. Good. And you already feel good stretch on the bending side. That's good. If you're going to feel more, reaching out. And just, to, you know, stop where you can't go any farther without really, you know, that pain. <laughs> but if you feel good stretch, feel good, and, and you can go this side. Right. Inhale, exhale, back to the center, push back a little bit, slowly, and bring your leg now stuck on the top, good, Whew. sit up, straight, suck your tummy in, and bend, hinging from the hips, coming forward, Ooh. Your right hip should be feeling right now. And if you're going to feel more, turn. And I want to feel more, so I'm going to reach my same side arm a little farther. So I feel really good on the, my left hip, your right hip, and my obliques. And go back. Oh, good. Oh. All right, let's do on the back. Hopefully you have time. You know, it's not even an hour yet. So take time. Shake, shake, shake. Flat back. Kick your booties. Just like a regular routine stretch. Put your soles together. Your feet pulling down towards your belly button. Open your knees. Inhale. Exhale. Grab the both toes. Open up. Your knees are out. And your knees trying to reach your armpits by pushing your from foot or pulling your toes with your hands. Happy baby stretch. Beautiful. Bring your left foot down. Right leg up straight. And I want you to focus stretching behind your knee. That's really important. You've got the uh, like blood vessel. Right? Um, I can't remember English, but those are good. And stretch means stretch your muscle. So the blood vessel, down, right? And squeeze as you stretch, right? And release and blood flow. So that helps the blood flow better right so that's why it's so important and also help the uh, immune system as well good and massage with the palms from hip to the ankle and reaching to the corner and those are also good points on the corner right here between the two bones on the ankle and right here soft to spot good and between the bones on the top of the foot, kind of peeling off. Good. And to the toe, between your toes, open, open and flex, right? And pushing down towards the bottom of the foot and pulling and stretch. And Massage the bottom of your foot with your eight fingers. Find the hard spot 
and knowing your condition, right? Like if you don't have any pain, we, did, we don't really pay attention. But once in a while, check that, you know, how soft, hard, and behind the right ankle, Achilles area, pinch. Good. Put your hands and open your leg. Keep your buns on the floor level. And back to the center. Extend your left leg, bend your right knee, and twist to the other side. Maintain your right shoulder down to the floor. If you want, look over the shoulder. Obliques and hips. Back to the center. Figure four. Put your right foot on the left side. Put your right hand through the hole. Bring your left leg in. Either straight or bend. As long as you feel the right side of the loop. Stretching. We already did this good stretch earlier. But, you know, never hurt. Stretch more. The other side. Right foot down. Left leg up. Straight. If you have to bend your knee, that's fine, but check, try to stretch behind. If you have to, away from the body, right? And massage behind your knee. And massage the whole leg from the hip to the ankle. And flex. And reaching with the thumbs, the corner. Loosen up there. And extend the pressure and kind of peeling between the bones on the top of the foot. All the way to the reaching to the toe and open your toes side. Because usually tuck in together, right? In the shoes. So open up once in a while is a really good idea. And pushing towards the bottom. And the other way. Push the heels up, a good stretch, an arch, and massage with the eight fingers. Really dig in, like a shiatsu, right? Good, all the way to the heel, and behind the heel, pinch, pinch. You might feel the pain right here. I have a little stiff here, good. And put your left hand and open your leg to the side. Your hips stay on the floor. Back to the center, extend your right leg, bend it and twist. Keep your shoulders down, look over the shoulder, inhale. Exhale. Back to the center. Figure four, put your left foot on the side, through the hole, bring your right leg in. Now your left side glute nicely stretched. Inhale. Exhale. Beautiful. Extend your legs and arms. Good morning. Toes pointed. And bend the one knee and flip over. Facing down. Put your hands on the side of your chest. Cobra pose. Lift your upper body. If you can go higher, that's good. If you can, stay low. As long as you feel the stretch on the ab area. Good. And slowly now, grab the one or two ankles and lift your knees. If you want, you can do the bow pose, like yoga. Lift your chest. Inhale. Exhale. If it's too hard to do one at a time, inhale. Exhale. Slowly down. Push yourself back up. Child's pose. Palms up and slide in your forearms to where your hips are above your knees and look up. Shoulders pulling down, your shoulder blades pushing down, right? And look up a little bit. And palms down and go back to where you started. Child's pose. And your right arm, go under the left arm. Press your right shoulder down to the floor. Same time, left shoulder pushing down a little bit. So your upper back nicely open. The other side. Left arm goes down. Right arm, right. Oops, left shoulder's down and right shoulder pushing down a little bit. 
So you open up your shoulder blades. Inhale. Exhale. Open your knees. Bend your knee 90 degrees and your ankle 90 degrees, pointing the toes out down to the elbow. So your back is nice and flat. Tuck your tummy in and push the hips towards the back. So right here. In, right? And go back. Exhale. Slowly pushing back. So you are working on the hip flexors, groins area, so kebu area in Japanese, right? And nice. If you're, you're you know, sitting too long, those areas get hot. So it's a good thing to stretch once in a while. And slowly back. And sit in up. Cross the legs. Put your right hand down, left arms up, and reach without lifting your hips. And open your chest, look up the sky, and facing down, reaching to the corner. And reach, reach, reach. The other side, side the stretch, open your chest, and close the chest. You feel more in the obliques and Upper hips, stretch and reach. Open your arms, cross up fin uh, hands, drop your tailbone around your back and look down. So from the back of your neck all the way to the hip, round and stretch. Overhead, open your arms, cross the behind, chest up, stretch your chest, pull your shoulders back and look to the left, the other side, good, cross the arm, shoulders down, always down, don't bring here, down, and head to the left, a lot of people doing this, you, you, you can't really stretch really well, you want to stretch your neck and shoulder and arm, good, open, Cross, shoulders down, head to the right, head to the left. Same direction with your fingertips. Good. Triceps. Inhale, exhale. By the way, when I do exhale during a stretch, I still press my navel. And like when you're brushing teeth, cooking, or doing anything, you know, during the daily routine, try to suck your tummy in, that might help. Good, and inhale. Exhale, one more deep breath. Open your lungs, deep, deep, deep. Deliver the oxygen. Thank you so much, everyone. Good job. Thank you for staying with me. And uh, this is like a three day weekend. So enjoy tomorrow as well, right? If you um, can be safe, I'll be back um, Tuesday, Tuesday morning, 1130. So thank you so much for joining me. That's going to be a uh, lower body. Thanks. And any comments, any feedbacks are always welcome. So, bye. Thank you. Thank you. Hi, thank you, Kiyoshi. All right. Thank you, Donna. Thank you, Janelle. Thank you, Seiko. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank Thank you. Cameron! ありがとうございます。ありがとうございます。また来週、あ、今週か。ありがとうございます。はい。今日日曜日だよね。あれそうだよね。トゥデイズサンデー。わかんなくなる。トラックオブザデイズ。いや。And it's I I forgot totally for
uh, one of the friends came coming over from the other side, and you know, I, I gave him a ferry, and ferry was all backed up. So a lot of uh -huh. people, yeah, coming this way, you know, Kisap County, maybe Olympic um, Peninsula camping. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Maybe. Careful. I feel like already safe. You have yeah. to right. Yeah. <laughs> so yeah. just stay healthy. Have fun. Thank you. Thank you. Atsuka sama, arigatou gozaimasu. Cameron kun kyou gokigen ii ni. Kyou wa. Ima eiga mitemasu. Ah, so na おりこさんね。じゃできるのは、あすかちゃん。あの、邪魔されないでできる。ああ、今日は旦那がいるから。ああ。されないですけど、やっぱ平日は大体邪魔されます。できる体の上に。あれさ、犬と一緒だよね。